Kyle from We Tech Care of You, and today I'm just going to show you a quick video on how to change the permissions, the bypass options uh, within a Microsoft team meeting. Uh, so I've received this quite a couple of times, there's some people having issues with this, so I thought I'd do a quick video on it. But what we can see here, right, so as you can see, I've got a, a window on my left, which is logged in with my account. Um, oh, didn't mean to click that. Uh, so that's logged in with my account, and then we've got another uh, session over here, which is logged in with our admin account. So that's a separate account of mine. Now, as you can see here, I've uh, scheduled two meetings and invited the admin account to it. So as you can see, we've got bypass yes. I might pass no, and that's been scheduled from my account. Now, if I just quickly go into this meeting and quickly join the meeting, uh, what you can do to get to these settings on how to do the permissions is if you, you join the meeting, you click show participants, so you can see who's going to join the meeting, and then if you click this ellipsis up here, and then you can select manage permissions, and that will actually open the permissions for the participants for this meeting. So as you can see, we've got the details there. And then there's the meeting options. So the first thing that we want to look at here is who can bypass the lobby. So this is the main the main drop down that drives this. Uh, again, you can test these. So there's a, there's a lot of different ways you can do this on who can actually bypass the lobby and who has to come into it. For this example, I'm just going to leave this one for everyone. So that means anyone who joined the meeting, they can just bypass the lobby straight away and that'll let them join the meeting. Um, so I'll leave this one as everyone. Let's just save that. And then I just want to go back and I just want to show you the other meetings. So I just leave that meeting, go back to my calendar. So if I just join this one where I've got it as bypass no, if I just join this meeting as well. If I now open the participants and come to the settings of this, I'll show you the permissions of this. So I've changed this to be only me and my co-organizer. So this means that the admin who's just been invited to the meeting will not be able to bypass into the meeting and they'll get stuck in the lobby. Now, let's just test both of these meetings and uh, we'll see it in action. So I'll just come off this. Keep just save that. Okay, so first things first, I'll go back out and, and do the yes lobby first. So let's just join this. If I join that with the admin account and click join now, as the meeting was planned and as the settings were, it bypassed. Sorry, I was getting feedback. Um, so as planned, as it were, the admin account skipped the bypass and came straight into the lobby. So now that's joined the meeting successfully. So now if I leave both of these with the accounts, and I'll go to the bypass now where the settings is that no one can bypass it, when I now join this account, uh, join this meeting, sorry. I'll just mute myself. Now if I come back to the calendar of the admin account and join the bypass now, when I click join, it'll still bring you to the screen here, but then now when I click join now, it will keep me in the lobby there. So now you can see we've let the people in the meeting know that you're waiting. That's kept this account in the lobby. And now me as the meeting owner has got the option to admit this person or view the lobby. Uh, so now if I just admit this person in, there we can see there we can see that they have now been let into the lobby now i hope this video helps someone uh, you know please add comments if, if maybe it's not clear enough or you know if, if it if it has helped um but yeah i hope it's helped someone please like and subscribe to the channel and take care thank you